Hi, this is Haley from the University of New Hampshire, and today we're going to talk about using the biomass and carbon storage data from your sample site to calculate net primary productivity. Net primary productivity, or NPP, is the production of plant biomass, or how much additional carbon the plants are storing each year. In terrestrial ecosystems, NPP is often calculated by taking the difference in carbon storage between years. So if you have multiple years of data from your sample site, you can find NPP by subtracting the carbon stored in year one from the carbon stored in year two. Although the equation is simple, it's important to use the NPP analysis spreadsheet because it accounts for dead and newly added trees in your sample site. In order to calculate NPP, you will first need to gather all the field data entry sheets for each year. Depending on what vegetation types you measured, this could include the tree data entry sheet and or the shrub and sapling biomass data sheet. You will not need the herbaceous data sheets because above ground herbaceous vegetation dies back every year and so does not accumulate carbon over time. Once you have your data sheets, open the NPP analysis spreadsheet. Use the instructions page to familiarize yourself with the spreadsheet tabs. On the plot size tab, enter the plot dimensions to find your plot area. Then in the Field Data Entry tab, either copy and paste your data from your other spreadsheets or enter in the values by hand. Make sure to type in the collection year for each set of data. Once your data has been entered, click on the NPP tab to see your calculated NPP in the yellow table. Remember, don't edit this sheet. The data in the blue sections are automatically imported from other tabs. If you need to make changes, return to the field data entry sheet to edit your data. If you would like to make a graph of your NPP data, copy the total plot NPP values from the yellow table. Then go to the Graph tab, click on the top row of the table, and go to Edit, Paste Special, and then choose Values. Your data should now appear in the table. Enter in the years your data were collected. Now highlight the table and click on the Charts tab at the top of the spreadsheet. Choose XY Scatter. The graph will now appear on the page and you can use the toolbox to change the formatting. If you want more information on NPP, how the NPP spreadsheet works, or how to calculate carbon dioxide uptake and storage, please read the NPP Teacher's Guide and the Data Interpretation page of the GLOBE website. Here you can also find other ideas for analyzing and interpreting your carbon storage and biomass data.